Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about three different types of forex trader. So before you ask yourself what type of forex trader you are, just watch these three videos and we'll be able to it will be able to make sense at the end of the video when, when I'm able to explain to you guys the different classes of forex traders which we have and the best class of forex trader you should be able to be among. So let's just watch this first video. You see on this first video, this is the kind of traders we call them scalpers. We call them scalpers. I'm not going to give you guys like the details for now, but let me just give you uh, like the three different types. So this first video you saw, this is an example of a scalper. Watch this second video. Good. You can see on this video, this, this guy is very relaxed. Uh, uh, at least once he, he has already placed his trade, he has that freedom to be able to move around and do other things without being stuck on the computer or on the screen 24 7 or at every second. So he has that freedom to move around. So this is the kind of trader we call a day trader. Now, watch this last video, the last class of traders. Good. So the last class of trader, you see, this guy is a this guy is a traveler. He has that freedom. He can go wherever he wants because uh, this is the kind of the class of trader which we call the swing trader. He's a swinger. He's a swing trader. So his position can even be open for days or even weeks or even up to months. So once he plays his trade, he's not bound to be on his computer. He's not bound to be on his screen watching at the computer. He has that freedom to do whatsoever he wants while the trade is there, while the money is there printing. So this is the kind of trader we call uh, a swing trader. So now, what are the different types of uh, forex traders? So we have the three different types of forex traders. The first one is a scalper. A scalper is someone who opens a trade and closes it within, within seconds to minutes. If your trade is, if you open your trade and close it between seconds and minutes, between maybe one, two, thirty seconds to up to five minutes, it means you are uh, uh, you are a scalper. So a scalper, the best definition is just somebody who opens a trade and close that trade uh, within seconds to minutes. So uh, most most scalpers they make use of volatile market. They, mo they make use of volatile market and they trade uh, currency pairs that have volatility during noisy during market times that are very noisy. So most of these scalpers they trade during market overlap because in forex market you have what they call New York open, Tokyo open, uh, 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 Britain, uh, UK open, and all of that. So for most scalpers they make use of this overlapping because when they say there's an overlapping. In different uh, in different market, maybe the New York, the New York market, the Tokyo market, and the UK market, they, there's high volatility. So they make use of this uh, overlapping where there's high volatility in the market, and they cash small moves. They cash small moves. So for a scalper, you shouldn't expect to make millions between those small scalps. But what what gives them what gives them that particular uh, ability to make profit is a small small profit. Is a small profit they made from small trade that adds up to produce uh, something big. So a scalp is just somebody who, you, who, who open the trade and close that particular trade from seconds to minutes. So as a scalper, you need to be on your computer. You need to be watching your computer. You need to be watching what you are trading because it is very volatile and the least seconds you miss or the least minute you miss can actually blow your account. That's why I see most scalpers, they introduce what we call EAs or S expert advisor or the best you can the best way you can call it is robot so most of them they implement a uh, robot in their trading because it is very difficult for them to manage it 24 7 the second one we have is what we call a day trader a day trader just as it says just as the name go a day trader is a trader who opens a particular position and close it within a day 
So when you start moving from a, a, a scalper to a day trader, you see you start having some flexibility. So for a day trader, at least you have time, you can place your trade, maybe you can have time to go to the gym, you can have time to go do some sport, you can have time to maybe uh, go service your car and do, do other stuff. Meanwhile, your trade is still running. You don't, you are not supposed to be stuck on your computer like, 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 like every second you are supposed to be on your computer as opposed to a scalper because for a scalper you need to be on your computer but for a day trader once you place your trade put your stop loss put your target it gives you that freedom to be able to do other things around but it has that trade has to be closed within a day so even though you have freedom but you you can't just leave the, that trade by chance you need to still be there to monitor it but not as opposed not so it's not the pressure is not there as compared to a scalper so uh if, if you are if you, if you want to call yourself a day trader and you open a trade once that trade goes to another day one once that trade is more than 24 hours that's no more a day a day, a day that's no more uh, 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 a day trading position so once your trade is already more than 24 hours that's not more a day trading position. You are moving from a day, a day trader to a swing trader. So with that being said, that moves up to another class of forex trader that we call uh, swing traders. So for swing traders, uh, you have the ability, you have that freedom. For swing traders, uh, the best definition for swing traders is anybody or any person that opens a trade and the trade is open uh, uh, between uh, days up to weeks and even up to months. So once your trade is already open for, for, for days or weeks, you are, you are already classified under a swing trader. You are already classified as a, as, a, as a swing trader. So once your trade is open for days, week or months, you are classified automatically as a swing trader. So you see, as a swing trader, you have that flexibility. Even sometimes, uh, when, when, when we used to travel, when we used to travel, when we used to go to Egypt, Swaziland, uh, Tokyo, and all of that. So when we travel, most of the positions that I used to have open at that time, they are swing po positions because I'm not supposed to be looking. I know that I don't have that flexibility to be looking at my computer. So I'll move from day trading to, 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 to swing trading. So that most of my positions will give me that flexibility that even even out even after a week even if i open that position and i don't look at my computer after a week the positions will still be there printing money so uh, uh what kind of day trader or what kind of trader are you after knowing uh, uh the, the different types of forex traders we have uh, swing traders day traders and scalper what type of forex trader are you or what is the best type of forex uh, trader which you should be able to uh, uh to, to strive to belong uh or, or before i ask you the question of uh, what type of forex trader are you if you've getting if you are getting some value from the video so far please leave a thumb up on the video leave a thumb up on the video if you if you want more content like this so with that being said what type of forex trader are you or what is the best type of forex trader for someone to belong the best the best answer for that question is uh, uh for you to be able to choose what type of forex trader you belong should depend on your daily lifestyle should depend on your present should depend on your present lifestyle so if you are somebody who has a very busy schedule if you are somebody who has a very busy schedule, you have a business which you are running, you have a, a big family, you have other, other responsibilities that you are taking care of, then the first class of forex trader that you should strive should be uh, a, a swing, a swing, it should be, let's just start with, let's just start with a day trader, all right, should be a day trader. So when you start with a day trader, when you start as a day trader, at least with a day trader, you have that opportunity you have that ability to be checking to be checking your computer from time to time meanwhile you also have free time that you can be taking care of your of your job let's just assume you are a day trader and you are trading the four hour time frame once you place your trade uh, 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 the four hour time frame means for a candle to open and close it takes up to four hours so you have that flexibility. You can place your trade and you only check it maybe after eight hours or maybe after 12 hours. That still classify you as a, as a day trader. So when you are just starting an advice, you start as a day trader based on your current, because I just assume when you're still starting, obviously you have your job, you have your nine to, four, nine to five job or you have something which is currently keeping you busy. So the best thing for you to do is uh, to start with day trading. Day trading will give you that flexibility to be learning all the strategies, to be practicing all the strategies. Meanwhile, you still have your day job. 
So when you start now making some pro some profits in forex, then you move down to uh, uh, to scalping. For scalping, for scalping, at least you start making use of volatility because the volatility in forex sometimes is very important. So with scalping, you start making use of volatility. You can start making use of quick changes in the market. You can get into the market and out at the same time while making money. You can make money. You can make even thousands of dollars in ten minutes, five minutes. That is what scalpers do. That's what we used to do sometimes. And uh, when you start getting that experience sometimes, even if you are introduced into robotic trading, with robotic trading, most of them, they make use of a lower time frame, they make use of scalping. So you see, that scalping too, if you are doing something like robotic trading, it still gives you the ability to make quick profit. And for you to use that, that system, most of them, they are being practiced on a lower time frame, which uh, those kind of traders, they are scalpers. So when you move now from day trading to scalping, then you can go down to swing trading. Swing trading is when you have that freedom, when you've, you, you, you are now, you are, you, you've now moved from a trader to an investor. All right. So that's the difference. With swing trading, you've moved from a trader to an investor because for, for, for day trading and for scalping, those are traders because active, you are actively involved. For day trading and for scalping, those are the kind of people we call traders because you are act you are actively involved. You have to be there to manage your position. You have to be there to put your trailing stop, your stop loss, your take profit, and all of that. But when you move now from uh, day trading, scalping to now swing trading, you become an investor because you are not actively involved. Everything becomes passive. Once you've already analyzed, once you've already analyzed your chart based on the, on the uh, on fundamentals, and you know, okay, for the next week or for the next two next two weeks or for the next few months, this currency pair is going to be going up or this currency pair is going to be appreciating, and you buy. Once you buy, you've already done your own job and you let the market do its own thing. So at that particular point in time, everything becomes passive. You become an investor instead of a trader. So for the transition, when you are just starting, you start with day trading, practice everything, practice all the day trading strategies. When you have the experience and you start making some money, try now scalping, try a one minute time frame, five minute time frame. And when now you start making money from day trading and scalping, you then move now to, uh, 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 to a swing trader at that point in time you become an investor so you I, I wouldn't advise you to choose like any particular one and say no i want to just be a day trader i want to just be a scalper or a swing. you need to i advise you to be all i'm everything but somebody like me i'm a day trader i'm a scalper and i'm a swing trader so i adjust based on the current uh, situation in my life at that particular point in time so i am able to adjust immediately like today if i have to travel like okay maybe next month we have to go to norway at that particular point in time i'll just immediately adjust i put my swing positions i know that okay for these positions i don't need to be watching on my computer 24 7. i might only check this position after a week so at that point in time i'm a i'm a, I'm a swing trader and maybe if i if i come back from norway and i have my time and i have time to be looking at my computer and stuff like that i start taking the trading the trading positions at that time at that point in time i have the time to be checking on my computer or doing stuff or now if i'm too excited or i have a lot of freedom and i want to trade actively that day i can go to the five minute time frame or the one minute time frame at that point in time i become a scalper or if I want to introduce my robot, some robots that I have, they only work on one minute time frame. At that point in time, I become a scalper and I'm still making money. So I advise you to be all of this. You should be a, you should be a scalper, you should be a day trader, and you should be a swing trader. So the most important thing is for you to be able to, to know the transition, to be able to know the transition and to be able to know how to classify yourself based on the, your, the present lifestyle you have. You shouldn't have a very busy schedule and when you start trading you are instead doing scalping you won't you won't succeed that way because your your present lifestyle doesn't permit you to scalp you won't have the time to be looking at your computer at that point in time i advise you to do day trading or swing trading so adjust yourself adjust yourself in these three classes of forex trading based on the present lifestyle which you have so if you have gotten some value so far Please leave a thumb up on this video. That's the only way I know you guys uh, enjoy content like this and will be able to produce more content. So if you've gotten some value so far, please leave a, leave a thumb up on the video and also check these videos. Also check these videos, which I'm going to leave links up here, which also explain uh, related topics to this. And to then, please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, 
I upload content nearly daily on this channel because we uh, we determined to bring you guys value. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please hit the subscribe button below. Until then, I will see you guys on another video. Peace.